hello everyone in our last class we discussed about the myopia myopia is a defect the person who are unable to see the far objects clearly got it and the myopia defect can be corrected by using concave lens by using concave lens we discussed that okay this is the i is a convex lens when concave lens when the object at infinity then it gives the it forms image on retina by using concave lens right this concave lens brings the image of the object from infinity to a point so extreme point then this is least distance of distinct vision right the object is which is present between uh, extreme point and the least distance of distinct vision the person can able to see the proper image if the object is behind the extreme point then he was unable to see it that defect is called myopia and we can correct with by using a biconcave lens then here one more kind of a defect now we are going to discuss one more kind of defect it is called as hypermetropia what is the defect hypermetropia hyper metro pia okay this who are suffering with the hyper metro pia the person can able to see the far objects very clearly the far objects he can able to see the very clearly but the objects which are closer to eye that image is formed blur get it the images the person who who is suffering with the hypermetropia then he can able to see the objects which are far very clearly if the objects are closer to our eye thus image is blurred those images blur got it and here you have to remember one thing this is not a blind the person is not blind but he can't see the far objects properly okay right then here we knows that least distance of distinct vision here it is a least distance of distinct vision if object is here object is here then it falls the light rays on the islands okay the image of the object is formed behind the retina what happened behind the retina why it is happen so right if here we it has a two reasons to form hypermetropia to get the defect of hypermetropia here it has two chances may two chances one is eye disease or otherwise the flexibility of ciliary muscle is decreases actually the uh, when objects are closer the ciliary muscle is pushes the object pushes the uh, a uh, lens to decrease its radius okay right but uh, in this case who are suffering with hypermetropia the ciliary muscle is unable to uh, decrease the radius of uh, eye lens good data right then that means 
वो आर सफरिंग विथ हाइपर मेट्रोपिया दो मिनिमम फोकल लेंथ इज ग्रेटर देन द 2.27, 2.27, because of it, uh, the focal length is not decreasing. Got it? Or otherwise, or otherwise, size of the eyeball is decreased. May otherwise size of the eyeball. For example, the distance between lens and retina is always a uh, 2.5 centimeters. May if this distance is decreased, may less than the 2.5 centimeters. These are the two cases, right? May the flexibility of eye lens is decreases. Sorry, the flexibility of ciliary muscle may decrease, or otherwise uh, the eyeball size of the eyeball is decreased. Got it, right? Then in this case. If object is closer, the image is formed behind the retina. Behind the retina. Okay, right. Then, if object at on a sufficient distance. Okay. If. object is here if object is located here the rays emitted from the object is refracts at eye lens and they form on retina on retina when object is here it is least distance of distinct vision in first case the object is here in first case see here right then the object at this point the image is formed clearly on retina that means the object if present behind this point behind this point that image is formed on retina if object is located between then this is an extreme point no then h i will take a nice h if object is present between h and l the image is formed behind the retina if object is behind h behind h then image is formed properly on it got it for example there is a blue color marker at infinity this shows the object and a red marker is showing what then image for example object at a infinity then image is formed on retina now then object is coming closer 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 and uh, it is forming on retina okay now it is closer object is formed up to here when it is on hypermetropic point right then image is formed on it on retina only when the object when the object is coming closer to the eye image is moving away right when object is in between the hypermetric point this extreme point and least distance of distinct vision image is formed here if object is moves back image is moving here if your object is coming closer then image is moving away got it right then who are suffering with hypermetropia those the object is present between h and l point that means extreme point and l then the image is formed behind the retina okay how can we correct if the object is located between these two points this object has to bring at a on h or behind the h get it the object should bring up to h then someone has to bring the object uh, from uh, closer to keep away okay got it then that work is done by the done by the lens by using the lens we can able to correct this uh, problem okay 
water lens convex lens you will use convex lens to correct it i will show it okay then i i lens okay then object is located in between least distance of distinct vision and its point okay this is the minimum distance this is the minimum distance from eye lens which can form clear image h is the minimum distance right minimum we have to keep the object behind the edge okay right for example object is located here got it by using the convex lens by using the convex lens we can able to correct it okay then light emitted rays emitted from the object it strikes the convex lens right and then it forms the image at point h it forms the image at point h then after it gives the image on retina this is happened when we use convex lens right i have to think it this situation is sixth position what we discussed while drawing the ray diagrams with the lens concave convex lens right when object is present at a o and f between optic center and focus then okay it pass through the focus and if it is passed through the optic center then we have to extend it then here the image is formed got it this situation this situation is explained here got it then here the object image the convex lens which we used it brings the image of the object from here from closer to the eyes to the minimum distance it bring to the point of minimum distance okay actually this is object here when we use the convex lens it brings the objects here image here right it brings here and this image is act as a object for our eye lens got it actual the convex lens which we used it brings the image of the object at minimum distance the point of minimum distance and that image is act as object for i lens and it gives the clear image on retina got it all right then here we have to use suitable focal length of lens suitable focal length of lens okay right here for example object is present at a, a least distant okay then object u is taken as 25 cm right and image is a uh, formed at h then this distance i will taken as d okay right v equal to d here we have to find the focal length this is convex lens then it becomes minus image also image distance also becomes negative why because it has given virtual image got it then the principle 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u 1 by f equal to got it then 1 by v equal to minus d and minus of minus 25 then 1 by f equal to 1 by minus d minus into minus becomes plus 
and 1 by 25 right then here 1 by f equal to lcm 25d okay minus then dd gets cancelled minus 25 here plus then we have to take place right and 25 25 gets cancelled we will get the d then we will write as 1 by f equal to d minus 25 by 25 d right therefore f equal to 25 d by d minus 25 is the principle to find the focal length of a lens which we use it to correct the hypermetropia which we use it to correct the hypermetropia got it then what is hypermetropia the hypermetropia is a defect the person who is unable to see the closer objects clearly but he can able to see the far objects right the object is present between the minimum distance and least distance of distinct vision that image is not formed clearly blurred image is given by our eye okay then here in such case to correct the hypermetropia we have to use the lens then the lens can brings the image of the object which is located between the minimum distance of our eye and least distance distinct vision that image is brought near then on the or behind the minimum distance point of our eye then this image is act as an object for our eye lens okay and this is the principle to use to find the focal length of hypermetropia got it then this is our today's topic then we will discuss about one more topic in our next class got it thank you